Yo guys, I'm going to show you how I make um, text animation in After Effects. So you can use this method for your project. So let's jump into it. Open up After Effects, create a new composition. I use the standard HDTV 1080p. We're going to create a background. So right click and pick a random color you want to use your project. I used a dark gray. Unlock your layer. We're going to create our first text, layer new, and click on text. Type your um, topic or type your name and position to the middle. Pick your uh, font you want to use and also change the color. I, I picked white. I'm going to create our second text the same way. Layer new text and type your text again. Select the text and we're going to modify the font and the color. I used some nice bold text, a bit thinner, more um, lighter and the design a bit more, you know, stronger. I think it looks nice. So I use this um, guide title action safe. As you can see, if, if you don't know where is the middle, there is like a cross in the middle, you can position your text. There is a bonding box in the middle, so you can see where is the middle. I think it's very helpful. Okay. So we're going to create um, a mask, like a draw on animation for the motion. So click on a pen tool and start to draw along, the, along your text. And make sure you draw always on the middle. It's very important, try to be accurate as possible. You can create multiple masks for this, which is good. You don't need to write like one big mask for your letter. Feel free to use different masks, but make sure you, you mask, you write your mask on the same layer. The order of your drawings, for example, I draw first the letters and after the, the rest of the text, like a point and the T horizontal section. So the order of your drawing and mask will be the order of your animation. If you draw from left or right, the animation going to be the same, like it's going to draw on from left to right. Okay, so go to your uh, effects and presets. And if, if you can't see it, make sure you go to window and effects and presets is on. and type is stroke and grab it from generate section and stroke grab the effect and drag and drop your text which is the motion as you can see there is an effect in a fx control panel so we're going to change the mask color the mask color should be different from our text color and check all masks and going to apply this effect to all masks and change the brush hardness to 100% and we, we're going to play with the brush thickness to try to cover all of the all of your text with the with this brush 
and also you can change the mask after that just go through make sure everything is covered with the mask and try to use the thinnest brush stroke for this as possible and for animation click on end and we're going to make the draw on animation first I'm going to, to trim my composition because it was too long so get, grab your keyframe, keyframe to the end and change the first uh, animation first keyframe to zero and you're going to easy ease the last keyframe you can use f9 for, for um, easy ease shortcut and go to graph editor we're going to play with the uh, speed so just grab that lower arm and you're going to make the acceleration slow down more dynamic and check the make some RAM preview how it looks like and the last touch is click on reveal orange original image and basically the mask going to draw on our text I think it's looking pretty good okay the second thing we're going to animate the design text we will create a mask over it and, uh, before that I just recolor the layer you can see everything a bit nicer cleaner so go to layer new shape layer and use rectangle tool and some bright color to draw a mask over your text cover your, all of your text and make sure the mask is above your text click on your text and click on alpha mat you can test your text is apply the, the mask it's looking good so hit P and we're going to animate the text so easy is the last keyframe keyframe assistant easy is and go to graph editor and we're going to modify the dynamics of the last keyframe and if you have a numpad on your keyboard hit zero it's going to be a RAM preview if you don't have a numpad hit just a space for the last touch I'm going to apply a motion blur so when the text is moving it's going to be a little bit of blur at the edge so that's it guys this is the final result hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like and please subscribe for more videos like this until then see you guys next time